vintage rare items Chanel bag. I literally cannot live without them. Hi everyone. I am so excited to film this very long-awaited video. This is probably one of my most requested videos ever, which actually surprised me because I didn't know that these videos were such fan favorites until I started doing more research and I started watching like celebrities, what's in my purses, and I also got super sucked into the whole series and probably binged watch every what's in my purse video out there. That made me want to do it even more. Sorry it took so long for me to film it, but I am so excited to show you guys everything in my bag. Hopefully this is interesting enough and hopefully you guys are still interested in what I carry in my bag. But I think a lot of people are actually initially like curious about the bag that I carry in the first place because it is a pretty rare find, I feel like. It's a vintage Chanel bag. I love this bag and i recently made a joke to my friend like i need money to travel maybe i should sell my chanel bag and she freaked out she was like never never and i was like i would never sell it either sorry it's just a joke from the side it's a uh, triangle shaped like accordion bag so you know it will fit a lot of stuff it has a very subtle like chanel printing on there i love the chain detail on here it's just enough for it to give like a fancier feel to it without weighing the bag down there are two magnetic pockets on the side besides the main zipper pocket i found this on the real real i think the best places to find some of the vintage items are the real real i don't trust ebay as much just because you have to do more searching yourself to make sure they're real the stare poshmark and there's depop let's get straight into what's in my purse first thing that i want to talk about from this purse are these sunglasses these i own a lot of sunglasses by the way but this is my number one pick all day every day i love how stylish they are but they're also just so sleek and simple most of all they're very comfortable on my face i want to talk about this first because it's always either on my head or on my eyes or in my car if they're not in any of those places it's in my purse in this gentle monster glasses case because i wore this out like this today in here instead of the sunglasses i have my glasses in here these are also from gentle monster on the days i remember i like to carry this in my bag also because when i'm driving at night having glasses can help a lot the next thing i have in here are my keys and my pepper spray it is crucial to carry around pepper spray around here especially in the streets of la you never know what's gonna happen never had to use it but all you do is twist it to the right and spray it if you're in a dangerous situation i got this for my birthday and i love the color it matches my phone clearly purple is my favorite color and this keychain is from glossier it was like their la flagship store exclusive i believe and it's a little cell phone and it opens up and there's a mirror inside so when you're putting on your lip balm or lip products, you can just look at this mirror and apply. It's adorable. It is a little heavy though, but it is a pretty rare item, so I take pride in owning it. The next thing I see is this tiny little pouch. I love saving these pouches from like whatever I buy makeup or like accessories because they're really good purse organizers. Band-aids, you never know, so I like to carry multiple. Let me just dump it all out. This thing that I got from Korea, it's from Perio. And it's a dental cooling mouth spray and spearmint. I don't really like chewing gum because it hurts my jaw and I don't really like eating mints either. So I'm not sure if I can find this exact product on Amazon because I got this one in Korea, but I hope they do because I love this thing and I would rather spray this over gum any time of the day. Another thing that I love carrying in my bag is this oil perfume. I've talked about this in a haul before. I love this first of all because it lasts so long compared to regular perfumes and this brand oil perfumery they make replicates replicas of famous scents so you don't have to spend like fifty dollars on a little bottle these are like 13 14 dollars and they smell exactly like the expensive ones that they claim to be uh, replicas of i feel like when you're spraying perfume in public it can kind of be like an inconsiderate thing like i don't know if people are like sensitive to scents and spraying kind of like disperses the smell very quickly 
And you also have to like just worry about like where you spray it. But then these roll-ons are so much easier because it goes directly on your skin. And then in here I have this little container. I think these are for like skincare maybe, but I use it as like a little pill case. And I always carry around lactate because I'm lactose intolerant and I love dairy, Tylenol, and I have some melatonin because whenever I go on a flight, I like to take one to just pass out. So, And then in here, I have a little chapstick. It's a supreme one. I have this hair lip balm, which I actually really like. It's their spicy nude balm and it's in the shade jalapeno. So it's green, but it turns pink when you put it on stays pretty glossy and it has a little bit of a mint cooling effect which i love in the products the malin and goet's mojito lip balm this also is a little minty i love this thing and it can also work as a lip gloss because it goes on super thick and glossy that's not all it's gonna keep going for a while i have fenty beauty's lip gloss fenty beauty Fenty Glow. I think Fenty Glow is a shade. I have this YSL lipstick that I recently got. It's like a perfect fall shade. Darker, but it also goes on, like you can layer. So that's one swatch. That's like a thicker one and it blends super well. I have this Chanel lipstick in shade 116. Going with the whole beauty theme, I have this like one-sided mirror that's also good for touching up makeup or putting on lip products. I got this at a gift shop in Spain. I have a little hair ribbon. I probably wore it in my hair one day and it probably fell out so I left it in my bag. Safety pins. I have a handkerchief. Handkerchief? 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 I think I bought it to use as a bandana actually. I don't really wear bandanas so I just carry this around in my bags if I need to like wipe my hands or wipe something, I just use that. I feel like a mom whenever I carry this because my mom always used to carry Sonsugon, but it's a very good thing to keep in your bag. Whenever someone's like washing their hands and there's nothing in the bathroom to wipe their hands with, I'll be like, here you go. This is also a must. I love this thing because I usually hate hand sanitizers because I hate how strong they smell. But this is from Trader Joe's. It's their lavender hand sanitizer spray. The scent is actually very pleasant. You don't use unnecessary amount of hand sanitizer just sanitizing your hands. So if you go to Trader Joe's, you uh, must pick this up if you haven't tried it yet. And I think they also have like a lemon scent if I'm not wrong. I have my wallet here, my Miu Miu card holder that I got myself for my birthday like three years ago. And I have this lotion. Tambourine, tambourines um, posy. I got this as a gift from Darcy and it's a really good subtle rose scent. It's so compact and it's pretty. Whenever my friends ask for a hand lotion again, I don't just hand out like a regular hand lotion tube. I hand this out and they're like, whoa, you're so cool. That's what we want in our purses, right? To carry something cool. We're getting to the bottom of it. I have cash i try to carry cash at all times because in la whenever you park um, there are valets most of the time it's like three dollars so having cash is really nice to hand out i have some coins i literally never want to use these coins because they're so shiny i think they're new look how shiny and clean they are i have my sd card holder i don't know why this is in here usually it's not i have a hair tie i have my airpods I get a lot of questions about my case too. I just put on letter stickers and I put on clear case on top. It's not a customized case. I always carry a pen. Comes in very handy. And on the side pocket, more band-aid. I have some business cards from meetings and then more hair tie. And lastly, I have my Tesla card. My car key is just my phone actually, but when I do valet park, I need a key to hand them, so I like to carry this in my purse. To put everything back into my bag, I put the flat things like cards, business cards, um, this little mirror in this side magnet pocket. Whenever I wear like an accessory out and for some reason it's falling out and I don't want it again, I will put it into this zipper pocket. Um, in this little pouch, I have again the little things that I don't want getting lost in my big purse. So usually most of my lip products, 
I'm only gonna keep my Supreme Lip Balm, my Malin and Goetz, and then a lipstick. Okay. The other things I will put back into my makeup collection. We have my keys. That is it for my what's in my purse. Definitely these sunglasses. I literally cannot live without them. This is really hard. Oh my god. I, mean, I was gonna say this hand sanitizer, but I've seen a lot of dupes. But I like this one the most. So maybe, okay, I'll say this hand sanitizer spray. And then lastly, I'm gonna do this lip balm because it's just been my favorite recently. I just use this every day, even when I don't have makeup on. Hera Spicy Nude Balm. These three must. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.